Okay, I'm going. Go in the Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. I'm Trish Pacheco, and I am live on YouTube, and I am on um, I'm on Zoom. And so, if you are watching right now, I appreciate you being here. I'm actually going to be doing what's called the the classic uh, crease cut two, and it's a uh, Mary Kay's. Uh, um, it's their makeup artist look that's online. And so we are going to be doing this together. So I appreciate you being on and um, and appreciate your patience because if you've ever been on uh, a makeup look with me before, you will know that I have not. Um, I'm not the top. There's like a spectrum of like, like top makeup artists. And then I don't know anything. I don't even know where the makeup aisle is. Right. <laughs> and so I'm like right in the middle. <laughs> and so I have learned, I used to be over here, like didn't know anything. And now I am over here. Um, like around that I know people that are over here, but I'm right here and I'm here to give you confidence that you can actually learn how to do makeup because I did not do makeup. I did not, I did not, um, even know where the aisle was, like I said, and so now I like to say, hey, I'm going to teach you, train you, um, and give you some basics. Here, you can turn this. Okay. Is that going on? No. Turn that on because we can't see us. Okay. So, um, and we have a couple guests in the house here, and we I know there's people on Zoom and there's people um, watching. So I just want to um, welcome all you who are here. And we have a couple, we have a new consultant in the house too. And here's, hi guys. I've probably seen some of you guys before when Trish and I have done trainings together, but you guys are going to have a blast and we're going to be out here on the audience watching you guys make, hello. <laughs> this is Delia, my friend we... Delia and introducing her. And consultant. this is my brand new consultant, Brianna, and she's been training. Hello. Hello. And we're all going to have fun. Yes. We're all going to have fun. Super exciting. Is your so. friend still here? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. good. She joined the referral game. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> good. Thank you so much, Trish. Bye, yeah, guys. Absolutely. Well, you guys pop back in yes. if you want. Yes, thank you. Okay. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Laurel. Okay, you guys. So this is what we're doing. We're doing the perfect cut crease. And um, so just a little introduction. I kind of told you a little bit about myself. Um, I spent 24 years in the Air Force. And I, while I was in college, I was a bartender and a waitress. I played softball um, and um, ate pizza and drank beer like all the way through college. And um, so I was nothing close to anything when it comes to makeup. So I really, really am excited when I got to learn about Mary Kay and I love to pay it forward. So if you're out there watching now, um, that's why I'm here. And I appreciate you watching and being there. So go ahead and make comments if you if you can and and um, ask me questions along the way. If I don't get to them while we're on, then I will definitely get to them later. Uh, but I want to tell you that Mary Kay, our website for sure has this, has some ideas and I'm going to show you some of those on how you can actually go, oops, how you can actually go in and see the ideas of, of the perfect classic cut, um, crease cut, because here's the thing. It really, you want to do the cut crease, um, the crease cut on your skin tone. So you want to start off with looking at your skin tone and the colors that you're going to start off with might be what you have um, in front of you. If I've given you a kit, you might have a couple different colors with you. So you're going to look at maybe the lighter shades, um, the, the medium shades and the darker shades. And then you're going to take a look at those and you're going to kind of just pick a color that goes along with um, what we're talking about in regards to shade. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right now. And um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here is right here. Um, this is on um, my website. And so you can actually go in. Hello, Autumn. And um, uh, you could go in and look at this. We're going to start with some concealer. But um, before I go there, I want you to get your colors ready or have an idea what we're going to talk about with colors. So you can, they're going to, you're going to identify your eyelid crease with um, 
with which the crease is going to be a darker color. So the lighter color that we're going to use today is I'm going to start off with just a concealer and then I'm going to have some sort of a, a lighter shade um, that I'm going to put over the top of that. But in your cut crease, so you can actually, um, you can actually look at the eye, if you have like ivory toned skin, this they're suggesting you go with a hazelnut or a cashmere haze. Or if you have more um, beige skin, that maybe you go with a mahogany or merlot, and then more bronze skin that you go with more of an espresso or an onyx. So basically, the the darker your tone is, the darker your eyeshadow is going to be for the crease. So it stands out. Okay. And that's what you want to be able to, to do. So if you have that in front of you um, or you're watching later, make sure you go get the kit that you have or that I gave you and then open that up. And then, and if you're going to watch this later, and if you want a kit, if you're watching now and you're like, what, I didn't get a kit, you know, what are you talking about? Then text me or, or call me and just say, hey, Trish, I want a kit and I'm going to mail you a kit. And then you could try this yourself and watch the video. Okay. All right. And so this is going to be your first layer of colors. And then your second layer of colors is going to be here and it's going to be a little lighter. Um, so the lighter shade, you're going to either have like a dusty rose, um, a biscotti, you know, a little hazelnut. Um, a cinnabar, it depends on your, your, again, your skin tones. As they get darker, um, your skin tones get darker, you want a darker color. Um, so pick your colors and really just play with colors. Just go pick a few colors. If you, if, even if you have colors just in front of you right now, or you have, you know, a palette in front of you from, you know, somewhere else, whatever, just let's practice the cut because this is kind of cool. All right. So, all right, so I'm gonna get started. And what I'm gonna do is um, first, I'm gonna put um, a concealer on my eyes. So I'm gonna show you, um, you can get a concealer brush, but I have, you wanna get a concealer that's like a lighter shade than your eyes, okay? So I'm using our, I, so I have a beige skin tone. And so I'm using the deep ivory color. And so when I put the deep ivory color on my eyes, it's going to be a lot lighter, you know, and so it's going to stand out just like, just like you see that. So it's going to stand out just like that. So I'm just putting a little bit right here. I'm going to put a little bit on both. And then I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to use our cream color brush. Okay. And our cream color brush is, and I'm going to use that to just go all over. And this is going to be my base. And then what you could do, see how that's just a really light color? And I have a, a tray here in front of me, so I'm just going to put some on my tray to dip back in there. But um, I'm going to go on both sides. And I'm going all over with... with the cream, um, with the concealer. So um, you concealer is gonna act like a primer because you really want to put some sort of a primer on. And um, unfortunately our eye primer has been discontinued, but it's cause we got bigger and better things like concealer, here we go. So you can do concealer. You can also do like a moonbeam liquid eyeshadow. Um, you, you can do several things. You can play different ways. All right. I put the foundation on my face first. So I came in with like nothing, right? So I have my, my foundation on and I'm just putting that light color over the top. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with like a fluffy, um, it's called the blending brush. So our blending brush, you want to get something that's nice and fluffy and and it's going to be light when you put it on there you're going to just be barely going over the top of it okay all right sorry i thought i had my blending brush out here and it wasn't there so okay so I'm going to go with hazelnut because 
that's just a nice darker color over this. And so I'm gonna pull up the, the hazelnut and this is hazelnut color. And then I'm just gonna use the blending um, brush and I'm just gonna go right into the crease line, okay? And here's the thing, like when you do your eyes, don't try and be like, okay, it's gonna be perfect from step one to the end. So we're, it's like work in progress, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of fluff it around and I'm just lightly touching this area and then I'm going kind of lightly into the crease and I'm not going up on top, right? It's, it's staying, the white is staying up there. So I'm just lightly going into the crease and just fluffing it like that. Okay. And then I lost my hazelnut. Okay. Do the other side. So again, I'm gonna go lightly. And I, I'm barely like putting it on there and then I'm fluffing it around. I'm doing like little circles and then just doing like a windshield wiper. Okay. So I'm going, and now I have more of a hooded eye. And so if you can see um, when, when I open my eye, it, it goes away. So with a hooded eye, you really want to go a little bit higher um, in into above the crease because your eyelid is going to go up into the crease. Okay. So now that's just a little darker in there. Okay. And then I'm going to take what we have, um, cashmere haze. I'm going to take a cashmere haze and I'm going to kind of go a little, just in the corners right here. So just in the edges. And I'm, so I'm going to go in the, with an all over cashmere haze is this color. So pretty. And I will tell you, I used to be totally scared of doing eyeshadow, you guys. I was like, oh, eyeshadow, no way. And now I find myself going, oh, let me see. I'm going to try this and I'm going to try that. It's like work in progress. And I'm not scared of it at all now because it's kind of fun. I put it together and I'm like, oh, what do you think? So have fun with it. It's so fun. Okay, so then I'm going to take the cashmere haze and I'm just going to go right underneath that one. You can kind of see it right there. And I'm just going in the corner. You see that? Just barely in the corner. And then Chroma Fusion eyeshadow is so, so um, um, ground so fine that you really have to kind of place it there and then work it because otherwise you will get fallout. All right. All right. So I'm going to do it a little bit over here too. And you see, like sometimes I can even, I've gotten to the point where I can actually put it on there pretty good without, I mean, the left eye is, I'm right-handed, you guys. If, okay, if you're right-handed, like the right side is easy and the left side is hard, right? So I'm just going right under that hazelnut. Okay, so then we're just bringing that color out and then you could bring that color out to the edges. Oh my gosh, this looks cool. So I practiced this with some other colors. So this is the first time I've done it with, with these colors. I actually like them. That looks really cool. All right, so now here comes the cool part about um, doing the cut, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna sound so funny, but so even though I put all those colors on there, right? I put on those colors, we're gonna actually cover the inside up a little bit and you're gonna see the cut. So I'm going back with my ivory. This is a crazy hack, you guys. I'm going in with my ivory concealer, right? And then I have one of those eyelash curlers, right? This is an eyelash curler. And I'm literally gonna take my, my concealer over the top and I'm putting concealer just on the, oops, on the top of the curler. 
You see that? Oh, on the top of it. And then I am going to take and stamp it on my eye. And it's going to make, you're going to get that cut line, that cut crease, right? And so I'm going to go from the corner of my eye, and I'm just going right above. All right, I really have to use a, a mirror on this. And see how I did that? And it puts the line. Okay, so you have to be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to like completely open your eye right now because of the, the way that, and then you're going to take your crease brush and then you're just going to fill it in. Okay, so it it's already, you already have that line. That's right there. And now you just fill it in to the bottom. And so we put the colors underneath. So it could stand out over here, right? And then we're just taking a nice thin brush and then going over that crease line, okay? And then, see that crease? Ooh, that's crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a lighter color and I'm gonna go right over the top of that. I'm gonna use um, crystalline, and what did I pick? Um, crystalline and gold status. So I'm going to take crystalline. Now crystalline is kind of like really white and it's shimmery. Okay. I'm just doing one eye right now because I want you to like see the difference of different ways to do it. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the crystalline and I'm going to go onto the inside of my eye and I'm gonna kind of place that over the top. I'm not disrupting the cut at all, but I'm gonna just give it a little color on the inside. And then, and then I'm gonna go in there with the gold status and here's gold status. And I'm gonna do a light shade of the gold status, like literally right in the middle. And then towards the outside. So this not only um, gives it just a little dimension, but it also sets the concealer on the top. That is so crazy. You see that? So it, this is like using it with concealer, super strong with concealer. Now this is this is the kind of with, um, it's kind of like we haven't done an actual cut in there. So this is like before and after at this point, but we're not done. Okay. And then we're going to, I'm going to take and you can, we're gonna layer right over the top with an eyeshadow, I mean an eye liner. And I'm gonna show you another little hack. Okay, so this is our waterproof black eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner, comes in a nice, um, it's a point, see that? It's like a pen. And you guys, my, cousin, my, or not my cousin, my niece, Selena, she's like, Dia, this is what I tried. I was like, no way. 
Okay, so I have my gel eyeliner and I have my liquid eyeliner pen, right? It is so pointed. It has got like a really cool point to that. You see that point? So I'm going to dip it in here because it's a gel and I'm going to go right over the top of my eyelids on the, the lash line and just do a really small line. And then there's, then I'm going to take the espresso, oh, espresso, oh, and I'm here, I can, um, I'm going to do a little, now you can do them on the top or on the bottom, however you will, um, I'm going to do a light, light layer on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'll take the, this is our eyeliner brush and a spoolie on one end. And I get the espresso. And it's going to be like setting it. So the espresso is like a dark brown and you can actually set your eyeshadow or your eyeliner and just go barely going over the top. And then underneath. And it just kind of sets the gel a little bit and then it kind of gives you the the dimension to look sometimes yeah I don't normally do on top on bottom I'm just showing you like both ways normally if you're going to go on top you won't go on bottom and it'll widen your eyes um and so but I'm just kind of showing you different ways to do it so I use that that to so that um espresso kind of to just soften the line a little bit all right so that's the cut right there. So then I'm going to do the other side. We'll put some of that concealer. And then I'm going to put it on the inside of my, I actually like these shadows too. If you, the cut, the purpose of the cut is to actually like, see like the line right where the crease is that's the line and the better you get at it obviously um the the more you do it the better the line is going to actually have a cut in there um, because i'm not going to walk around going like this but when i'm standing there and i i blink you can you'll be able to see it so i'm going to go onto the inside here and i'm drawing my line and then I'm going to fill it in. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go again. I'm just going to kind of go over the top. Just filling it in. And then the stronger that you get the 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 light the lighter that you get the um the, the smaller that you get the brush um it's more pointed. Um, it'll it'll be easier. You really want to get a nice pointed brush out of it to get a nice cut line. All right, and then I'll get my 
my crystalline and my gold status. So here's the gold status. Off to the outside. Okay, and then I'm going to put the crystalline on the inside. And then maybe just do a little touch up on the top with the above the concealer with the light color. And then I'll show you um, on this one, I'll just we'll have the dip in my eyeliner. I love this. I love that um, I use the gel all the time because it lasts a lot. It lasts really a long time. And I normally am an under eye girl. And so, and it take and it stays. That's what I love about the gel. So we do dots, dots, dot, dot, and then we connect the dots. It is so much harder to do it. On the other side. Okay. All right, and then get my eyebrow brush, get the, the and we're gonna set the color again. This is espresso. And it just kind of softens the edges out a little bit. And again, you can probably go top, bottom. You can go, or usually just wanna go the either the top or the bottom. Okay, and then, so from here, we're gonna actually use mascara. So mascara has, um, we don't have a primer anymore. And so this right here is Fanorama, okay? So Fanorama is what we use as a primer and it's real thin. It has an hourglass shape and you could see it's shaped just like your eyelashes. And then, um, so you, what you want to do is do like a Z. So you'll get from the bottom here and you'll go up and over like a Z and then go up. And this is going to be great for if you, it has a really nice thin, bristles here so like um if you have really thin eye eye lashes it's going to be perfect for that so i go i do my z and then up and then on the end of it there's actually bristles on the end of it too so you could see those and then you could just go underneath here you have to like open your your mouth when you're doing that, right? <laughs> doesn't it like help when you open your mouth? It, like it doesn't do anything, but it feels like it does. It feels like it. Okay, so that's my primer. That's what I call my primer is Fanorama. And then the next one I'm gonna use is Lash Intensity. Oh my goodness, Lash Intensity is just that. It has, it has the biggest bristles. Look at how big and fluffy this is. It's gonna give you that like fiberish look. And so I go over this as a second and as a second layer. And again, I'm going to do my Z and then go up. And then the thing with the um, this mascara, it has a brush on one side and like a comb on the other. So if you're when you buy it, it actually says Mary Kay on this side. So you hold your thumb on the Mary Kay 
you do your Z, you go up, and then you flip it around to the comb side, and then you comb it out, okay? But see what a difference that makes? Mascara makes a big difference. Didn't my eyes like kind of look really white before I before I uh, started because I had all that um, color on there? So you put a mascara on there and man, it makes a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Z. I'm gonna do my mouth open. <laughs> I can't do that and talk at the same time. So, and I wasn't always a big mascara girl. I mean, all I did growing up, really, I did like eyeliner. That was probably it. Um, but now that I've I've used mascara, it's like almost like I can't not use it. Um, but sometimes I'll just throw on a little bit of eye eyeshadow and then be done. Okay, so the last couple things. Um, another little cool hack that you can do with your... Um, Espresso. So I still have the espresso. Is my there? We do have a uh, brow liner, and we do have brow gel, and it's tinted. We have blonde, dark blonde, brunette, dark brunette. You know, black brown. We have all that, and so the liner is very precise. It's a precision liner, and you can actually draw in where you're missing. So the the brow the brows go um, like you want to put it on the side of your nose and go to the corner here and then go down to here. Like that is like where you would draw the line, right? Something super quick for the girls who are like, I ain't got time for all that. I use my, my espresso and then I just dip a little bit in here and I literally um, do my brows with my espresso. So I just go right over, I just comb right over the top. Look at that, is that crazy? That was just with espresso. So if you have um, if you have lighter hair, um, then you might want to use hazelnut because hazelnut is um, a, just a, a lighter color. Um, and maybe you have blonde here. In fact, I'll even put hazelnut. I'll put hazelnut on uh, on um, my other side. You might not be able to tell the difference. Oh, I can't. This one's already, it's already has that dark in it. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to do that so you could see it, but it already has the espresso in there. I don't have another one right here. So, oh, wait, I do. Hold on one second. Okay, this is actually called a smudger brush. So, and then this is espresso. And then I'm going to use hazelnut on the other side, just so you could see the difference in the colors. Um, but hazelnut probably will not be my color. It'll be a little bit light. You, I use, um, it'll look, it'll look a little brunette on me. You see how it just looks a little bit lighter. So that's the, that's for the blonde girls. The blonde girls, that's what you want. You want you want the hazelnut. That's what my mom uses. She's got lighter hair. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna go back over this one just a little bit with my espresso. Bam, look at that. That's crazy how quick that works. Okay. So now we're gonna finish it off with some blush and contour. So I'm gonna get gonna get our blush brush. And our blush brush has a little dimple in here and it fans it out, which makes it super easy. So you take the, the inside of this for contour, you take the middle for your blush and you could use the top for highlight. So that's what makes it super, super easy to do. Okay. So. Let's see, we will use Rosy Nude. Rosy Nude. Okay, so we have Rosy Nude and I'm just gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit on the top here and I'm just gonna go up into the 
just a little bit into my cheeks and I'm putting it on there first and then I'm gonna rub it in. And then I'm gonna take the contour And contour, we have latte and we have cocoa. So here is cocoa and latte. So that's based on your, your skin tones too. And I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna use the latte and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and see how it's just on the edge, right? I gotta tap it off. But the contour is gonna go fishy face underneath that blush. And I don't go way over here. I'm just going right up in here. So literally, it's hard to do this one without a mirror. Literally, I just hit that outside part right here and I just place it there and then rub in. And you see how that just kind of cuts right in there? So it just cuts it. That's perfect. And then I'll do the other side. So I'm going to, I'm going to place it, place it like this and then just cut it in and I'm holding the, the bristles down. So it, so it stays and I'm, I'm doing it extra. I always do it extra. So you guys can kind of see it online. Sometimes it over, overdoes it a little bit, but all right. So that's the cut and we're going to blend it all together. We're going to put a finishing spray over the top. And then we're gonna finish it off with a, a translucent powder. And then we're gonna blend it all together, okay? So this is finishing spray. What this does is it helps lock in your color look and it also will help your um, face from sweating. So there don't have we're gonna just okay. All right, and then while that's sitting there, we are going to um. We are going to finish it off with a lipstick. And while that's drying, this one is called um, Boho Plum. And you guys got to, you want to make sure, like, you know, if you're doing bold eyes, that you don't do like bold everything. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to blend some of this in right now when this dries, but. Um, so you want to kind of go a little bit lighter. So maybe boho is a little too, too much. I think maybe what I'll do is let's see. We'll do a, uh, how about a rich truffle? That's what we'll do. Rich truffle. It's like a light brown color, nice and calm. And so we have tons of eye or of uh, lip colors too. Lots of lip colors. So we, this is, this one here is a semi matte, is semi, it's gel semi matte, but we also have semi shine and we have hydrating and we have lip glosses, so. Okay. So, rich truffle, cool color. And then I'm now I'm gonna finish it off with with the powder. 
Okay, now this is gonna be, um, this is translucent powder and you use an all over brush for this. Okay. And then we'll be done. So an all over brush is nice and wide and it's fluffy and big. And then you just lightly dust all over. So I'm gonna tap it into the white. I'm, not, I'm gonna swirl it around in here. And then tapping it off like this. And then we'll go See how that kind of blends in those colors a little bit. Yay! Okay, you're gonna have to watch out because it, it is it is mineral powder. So that's it. Yay! Okay, you guys got any questions? It's awfully quiet. You can pop up with questions if you want. I'm gonna um, thank you. There's that cut crease. <clears throat> All right. So that's that. So for those who are out there um, and you are, if you're a, a customer and you are watching and you're a customer of a consultant that's watching, um, feel free to get with her. And if you are one of my customers or somebody you know, um, um, please get with them. And I'm going to share with you right now just a couple things real quick while we close it up um, on like how uh, how you can get some of these sets. All right. So first off, um, I'll tell you that our products um, with our eyeshadows, they're environmentally friendly, which is super cool. And so all of our eyeshadows are in these palettes. Like I was, I was showing you these palettes. Um, and the palettes are magnetic. So when you turn them over, like they don't fall out and then each individual um, item can come out and they're magnetic. So you'll never have like a product that you don't use um, because you just buy what you, what you need. And then, you know, you refill it. Mary Kate's hundred percent guaranteed. So you're never gonna have a product that you can't use. And so you want to just make sure that like, you get with your consultant and say, hey, you know, I didn't really like that color or the color wasn't work for me or that formula wasn't right. If you're talking about skincare, um, however that however that is. Um, so. I'm going to show you um, right now the different um, ways that you can actually get the sets. Um, and so this is what we call um, a set sheet. And it will be coming up right now. I'm gonna share the screen. And where did it go? Okay, two seconds. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I lost it. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Here you go. So this is um, the different um, sets that they come in. And so you can actually get like just your basic color set that's over here to the to the right. And um, for 104 and that's going to come with the palette the three I did three you know the three colors a blush eye, um, eyeliner mascara lipstick um, or you can up your game to the complete color set which is kind of right in the middle and add a primer and a foundation which I had on ahead of time and then um, or you can add into it your concealer and the translucent powder and maybe a brow liner 
and um, then it becomes um, 197. So those are just three different types of sets. You can also just look at the different other kind of sets we have for um, with the eye makeup remover. I'm gonna tell you guys the eye makeup remover is like the best on the planet. Um, so yeah, can you show for hooded eyes? Yeah, and what I have right now is actually, I have a hooded eye. And so my eyes are really hooded. I'm gonna show you a little um, screen shot right now that will show you like the placement of color when you have hooded eyes. And I did mine. Mine, I just brought the color up a little for the hooded eyes. Um, okay, and then, um, so these are all set. Start to finish is more of like your fin your your um, perfect flawless you know finish if you're gonna have the concealer, translucent powder, finishing spray. Um, or you can go with the flawless face. Um, the tools that I was using, they're all sold separately, or you can buy the whole set if you wanted to for 56. And that comes with five brushes and um, and that um, the case that comes with it. Okay. Um, and then if you wanted to also, there are um, store the storage of it is like the pro palette. The palettes come in small, medium, and large. The small one holds four um, eyeshadows. The medium can hold about um, 12 eyeshadows or a combination of, of eyeshadows and um, blushes. And then the, the pro palette holds like a bunch, a ton. So, um, so let me show you, um, cause you were asking about the hooded eyes. I'm going to show you a picture, um, of the hooded eyes and how it shows you exactly like um, how to do that. Okay, here we go. So this is a picture of how you would look for, um, how you would uh, place the color. So your hooded eyes is um, on the right-hand side, the column in the right-hand side in the middle right here, and it's hooded. So the colors on this is the, the, the lighter color is your highlight, then the blue is your crease color, and then the base is the, the red or pinkish color. And so with a hooded eye, they recommend um, that you would do your highlight color at the top and the bottom and just do a crease color right in the middle. And that's kind of what I did on mine. Right. I mean, I did this was called a cut crease. So it was a little different type of um, of look and, you know, using where you actually have a cut on your crease where you actually see it. You know, it's not blended in. Um, and most of the things I've, ta I've taught before, you're blending in those colors. So this um, this hooded eye here, you would only need the two colors. So you just put your highlight right in the middle um, like you put your highlight here. Or what I do when I just do the two colors, you just take your highlight, you put it on first, you do all the highlight, and then you take your crease color, which is any darker color, and any of the colors that are in your kit there would be a darker color, and then just literally go right above your crease. And the crease is going to be, um, for me, the crease is a little, is here, but I just bring it up a little bit. Because as you can see, that white goes up in there. So it, it's just above. All right. And then you see for the other types of eyes, you know, for if you have wide set eyes, you could shrink them in a little bit by putting colors closer to the inside. If you have um, like more um, close set eyes, you take the darker colors and you move them out to the outside. It's all an optical illusion. Um, and then if, um, you know, for deep set eyes, you could bring it around to just make it like looking like it's, um, you know, more forward setting. All that makes sense? Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so with that, um, I'd love to, I'm gonna do show one other thing here and this is called our closing sheet. And, you know, we would love to take keep track of um, what, what you thought of this today. So, um, if you have your sheet with you, then that would be fantastic. And, and if not, that's okay. Um, oh, you know what? I actually have one that has a QR code on there too. So if, uh, if you want to, and you are, you are watching, let me see. I have a, 
I'll just take this one. So I have a QR code for mine. And so if you are um, somebody you, you wanna um, answer these questions um, for myself, um, then you can take and scan the top of this um, screen and it's, it's gonna take you to answer these same questions. Um, so for your consultant or for myself, is you might have this paper with you, then I just really need to know like what you thought of today. So um, to wrap it up, um, if money was no object or it was unlimited, what really appeals to you the most? Like it doesn't mean like, oh, I want the most expensive one because money's no object, but it really means like, what are you going to use? Because, um, you know, if you would have asked me, you know, year, 10 years ago before Mary Kay, I would have said none of that. <laughs> because I don't do color or I would have said, okay, just the essential, just give me the essential, right? So what would uh, um, suit you and tailor you um, and circle which one you like best, all right? And if and if you don't have this or you're not scanning and you can't scan, just get a piece of paper or, or write it down on a piece of paper. Um, and then number two is you could do another experience. This is a color experience. We would love to give you um, either a skincare more, um, or more color body and fragrance or maybe do a theme party. So um, circle what it is that you would like to do next so we can get you scheduled. And then um, how do you want to do that? Do you want to do it by yourself or do you want to do it with friends? Because if you do it with friends, you have, you know, more people there than you get actually hostess gifts. And so, you know, if, if you're with me, I have a certain hostess program. Other consultants have different hostess programs. So um, just ask your, your consultant what, what it is that she is doing. But for myself, I definitely, you bring 10 people to a party and I'm going to give you $200 in free stuff, <laughs> like bring people. And um, that's my thank you gift. And then as a thank you gift, um, you for just doing that, for bringing people on top of that, you can either get a charcoal mask or you can get the petite palette that I was telling you about. Um, so you can circle one of those or write that down. Um, and then if what I, this is a business obviously, and we like to share the business and part of my business is to, to train and teach. And this is what I do. And then you can also um, have um, your own business if you wanted to. So if you want to learn just a little bit about the business right now, we are doing a $500 cash giveaway um, that's going to happen in February. So anybody who watches a short video or gets on a call with us and just, um, you know, lets us talk to you a little bit about it, answer your questions um, to take five minutes, we are going to put you in for that 500 cash drawing. And we're going to give you a color kit or hydrogel patches as a gift for just listening, because it may not be something for you, but maybe you can pass it on to somebody else. Okay. And then, um, and maybe this is for you. So number six is um, a little bit about the business. You know, I shared how before Mary Kay, um, I was in the Air Force for 24 years and I didn't know anything. And now 10 years later, I'm, I'm actually retired 10 years early I retired about four years ago because this business changed my life. And I cannot believe like that there's women out there that want to help other women and just bring you in and lift you up to a better place. Like that is just amazing to me. And I want to be one of those women to lift you up or to lift somebody else up that you think that needs this or we need them, you know, either way. And so tell me if it's A, B, or C. Um, yes, oh my gosh, this sounds awesome. We would love to have you on our team. And I have a vision, 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 and I am growing a team of car driving people because I want to give them that vision. I wanna give them that glory and that what that feels like to be able to support and help your family. Um, so B is like, well, I'm not sure. I'll listen to the video and put me in for the drawing. That would be great. Uh, maybe I'll answer some questions. And C is like, you know what? I love what I'm doing. I just want to be a customer, maybe later. But right now, I just want to be a customer. Um, so, so that's what those are about. And then later down here, what we have is just let us know, you know, what it is that um, you would love to keep on your wish list for later. So that way we know, um, hey, she talked about this. I really want to try that. Um, or maybe you want to actually get something today. So just write that down um, and then take a picture of this at the very end. And what we're going to do is give you prizes for actually sharing us with your friends too. So um, if you want to share us with your friends, there's for at least five, we're going to give you an eyeshadow. For another five, we're going to give you a mini mascara. And for another five, we're going to give you an additional eye makeup removal travel. So if you fill this in, and um, take a picture, send it to your um, consultant um, or give the write it on a blank piece of paper if you want. And again, I'll go back down to this 
um, oops, going back down to the um, to the scan code, you can actually scan that code and then you can actually answer all this electronically by just scanning that code. But you might be on your phone and you're like, I can't scan and look at the same time. I understand how that works. So there we are. We are all wrapped up. It is 6.56 and uh, hopefully that was helpful for everybody and um, who's watching out there on YouTube and the girls that are here um, on Zoom. We, I appreciate you guys being here. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please give me a call afterwards. You guys know how to get a hold of me. I would love to um, help you out any way I can. And then there you go. There's the cut. There's the cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Happy holidays. And you guys, you know what? I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to do a whole nother thing for next year, starting in January. I do this once a month and it's going to be on YouTube and um, Zoom like this. And uh, I think maybe sometimes people can't come in person, which is fine. I'm here at the studio and um, there's people over here doing other things. Um, but I will be here. I'm doing this once a month and I'm going to change it up. So keep on coming back. Give me any suggestions. If you're like, girl, I want to know this, then tell me. I would love to try it. So I love trying new things. So I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much. And um, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Bye.